Hello, little note before the video. So this was actually recorded well over a year ago, and I've had multiple jobs since then, a lot's changed in my life since then, but you know, I've been uploading more videos recently and I was thinking, hey, maybe it's time I finally upload this one. So with that, here we go. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, everyone. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about an experience I had today with the Karen. So there might be a lot of cuts in this video because it is not scripted. It had, This just happened less than like two hours ago. Um, yeah, currently at time of recording, I'm still a teenager. Keep this in mind for the story. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be posting this video after I'm done like recording or months or you know whatever I leave this job because I know they have a no recording policy in the store um I didn't record anything but I don't know how they feel about telling stories so I'm going to keep the name of the business also out of it so I have been working a job for a month to this day for one month I started oh by the way so <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Hello. I started a new job at a grocery store pushing carts, putting them away, not a big deal. Well, my first day of work there, a man, I can only assume on drugs, starts screaming uh, and flashes me his penis. I was not alone, but the other coworker, I don't even think, noticed. I'm not sure. I reported it. And then I continued to do carts for a bit. And then they're like, well, do you want to cross train? So I'm like, yes, yes, you know, whatever. So they moved me over to cashiering. And now I'm permanently on cashiering. And it's okay. Um, it's a lot less labor intensive than carts. But it's then a customer service job and not just a labor job. So you have to deal with the customers. I think we see where this is going. <laughs> I've, this is my second customer service job. The other one was at a restaurant. I have a lot of stories, a lot of stories of shitty customers and people's bad attitudes and people on crack, on drugs, and shooting up and having bad trips, really. Um, I kind of forgive the man who flashed me his dick more than this woman today that I'm going to talk about. So I worked, I worked five hours and 55 minutes. I worked five minutes less than six hours. So I could not have a lunch break today. I had one 10 minute break today. Um, whatever. I just, I don't like it when they do that, you know, schedule me for so much, but just less than six hours so I don't get a, a lunch break. It just rubs me the wrong way. Uh, anyway, <sighs> it's towards the end of my shift. Not completely over, I stayed 10 minutes late because I had a line of customers. We didn't have many, very many cashiers today. Um, I'm checking out this family. It's normal, it's whatever. It's normal checking. It's exactly how I was trained. So just checking them out. Okay, they pay, receipt, they leave. No big deal. Well, I uh, this woman comes up just appearing to be a single mom, you know, one woman and a kid, maybe about two, three years old. Mom, yoga pants, athletic wear. Uh, I start moving her items from one conveyor belt to the next. And she starts screaming at me, just at the drop of a hat. Don't you handle my groceries like that! I saw what you did to their groceries! Don't you do that to mine! Or some bullshit like that. I'm completely stunned. I have four bags today. And then she just... Two different, like volumes she no hello uh i just i was stunned 
and about to start crying because she went off on me is a complete stranger who just came, came up to me and, and shouted in my face. Huh? What? What did I do wrong? I don't know. So from then on, I didn't even hit the little button to make the conveyor belt move. I just gently as possible moved her groceries from one spot to the next. I still don't know. Uh, maybe I, she thought I was moving them too quickly, you know, you're just trying to get some people through, there's a line, you know. Well, she was at the tail of the line, but, so it was only her. No other co-workers are around me. The first part of it, don't you handle my groceries like that, it sounds kind of like she's shouting at a kid or something. Or like, I'm being a bad dog and I'm being disciplined, it was so bizarre. Not even, it doesn't even feel at all like human decency. It was horrible. And I'm just, I am stunned, I'm mute, I don't know what to say. This adult woman just came up and screamed at me in front of her young child. What an example. Way to go, mom. Like, that was, what a performance, really. Really shows... She was an example. Um, yeah, so she does this. And then, like I said, the next thing she says to me is, I brought four bags because they get six cents off their purchase every bag that they bring. I put it in. I check her out. You know, I, it's ridiculous. I just check her out completely normal. Try and do it quietly. I don't say a single word to her other than your total is 146.63. I give her a receipt. I do not make any eye contact with her after the point of her screaming at me. I then just start talking to the woman behind her who just like kind of appeared while she was leaving. Um, yeah, it was just really shocking. Oh. What's just so bad about going up and screaming at a customer service person just the instant there's no escalation. I've had a lot of people, they don't like what's going on. They escalate to a point and then start screaming at you. I had another woman who couldn't pay for her groceries, which is quite sad, but I just work here. What do you want me to do? I, <laughs> she wasn't polite about it. Instead, she was furious at me. Why that makes sense? No, I, it doesn't. Clearly this yoga pant Karen is having a bad day, but that doesn't excuse screaming at some poor customer service kid. It was horrible. Anyway, so the next woman comes down and I'm like, are you okay if I just move your groceries along a little quickly? Is that all right? She's like, yeah, how else would you do it? You know, I'm like, what do you expect? Uh, this woman was very nice. I told her what had just happened because I had the I had the wind knocked out of me. I was holding back tears after the woman had screamed at me because I was I can't explain the like fear that just happened. When the dude flashed his dick my first day of work, at least I had a coworker next to me. I was shocked when that happened. But we went on with our day, and then later I told the manager the next time I worked, which was the next week, I went up and I told the manager, because I'm like, what do I do in this situation? I don't know. And they were very nice and understanding about it. And I never had to work carts alone. I was always with someone, and later on they gave me a radio so I could radio it in. Cameras were down, of course, the day I got flashed. Um... <sighs> It's a very frustrating job, but yeah. Uh, some people are horrible, horrible when they when they are grocery shopping. I don't know why. Some people are frustrated with the line they're in. I remember I had worked a couple hours, and it was it must have been a Sunday because a, a Sunday is the busiest day at a grocery store. At my grocery store, it's the busiest day. Uh, a coworker came by put up my little sign, turned on my light, or had told me I needed to do that, turn off the light so people know that the lane's closed, put up the sign so they know it's closed. 
a woman had apparently been in line because was it seven people called out that day i can't recall but she then screamed at me i have been waiting in this line and you're closed i need a break legally the state requires so many breaks when you work so many hours at a day you know human decency kind of legally have to i'm a human being people just forget that um and I hate it very much today made my hate my job a lot more uh yeah after my shift is done i check out i don't know maybe three four more people pairs of people whatever uh everyone everything's fine everyone's fine today i charged a woman 900 dollars for a single thing of pizza that was a complete accident i entered the code where i was supposed to enter a price so i avoided that so she wasn't charged so i had to call a manager over and she's like she didn't understand what was like going on she she gave me a hundred which would have covered her bill but and i gave it back to her i'm like i need one moment i need a manager for a computer issue and she's like, do you want me to pay in debit? And I'm like, no, no, no. I charged you 900 for one pizza, so I had to fix that. You won't be charged that. I just need a manager to come fix this computer issue. She was completely fine. She thought it was funny. That is a big whoopsie. That's a big issue. And she was completely understanding. But this other woman, you know, I try to move her groceries from one conveyor belt to the next. And she screams in my face. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not funny. It was horrible. It is just so bizarre. It, it's a little funny. Just how, what the fuck it is. Of the whole experience. <sighs> I have no more issues for the rest of my shift. I go up. I clock off. And then I, I pass by uh, my manager who's leaving in a week, uh, which I'll be very sad because she's awesome. But I'm just like, um, I, I completely downplay what she had done. And that I didn't tell her I was like gonna start bursting in his ears. And obviously you leave that out. I just went up, hey, um, a customer a bit ago yelled at me. What do I do <laughs> in that situation? What am I supposed to do? She's like, oh yeah, a lady came up and complained about you. It's like, what? She's like, yeah, she said you were throwing her groceries around and chucking her sodas. And I'm like, what? The fuck? The yoga pant Karen, she complained about the way I handled the people in front of her groceries who had soda. Again, I handle everyone's groceries the same. Maybe she just th just saw me moving like quickly. That's my only assumption. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that family in front complained. Maybe they did, I don't know, but I 10 bucks it's on yoga pant Karen. Uh, she was furious. And she probably didn't help that I didn't say anything else to her other than your total is this. But yeah, she had the audacity to scream in my face and then go up to my boss and complain about me and say I was doing a shitty job. And I told him like, she didn't even have sodas. I didn't mention the person in front of him, but I'm like, she didn't even have sodas. She had fruity pebble boxes. She had fruity pebble boxes. Um, Are you one of the least tender grocery items we have a large variety of things it wasn't her eggs it wasn't her bread and it was boxes of cereal yeah! that i guess was i appeared to be handling incorrectly somehow didn't know that was possible i didn't take her box of cereal put it on the floor and stomp on it like i kind of wish i did now but then you know i'd be fired uh and i didn't scream at her back and i didn't cry and none of these happened. I gave her a receipt, she paid, she left. After having a mini meltdown in my face, um, yeah. Just the audacity of some people. 
this is my second like well this job isn't minimum wage i make less than a dollar above minimum wage but you know second customer service job this is my second paycheck getting job ever i've done like little ob jobs for families or neighbors but those aren't like you know here's your paycheck you get so much time to have a break kind of job yeah, um, I don't really like my job. I don't like dealing with the customers because a lot of people are very unpleasant. A lot of people. Uh, I've met a few nice people, a couple like really cool people. Like I met a professional fighter one night. Um, there's another guy, there's the pie guy uh, who gets like his supplies for his pie business. He was cool. Um, there's another man who had like a um like a joker jacket and a sun hat and he had like three dollars stuck in his hat and i'm like what's that about and he's like oh it's good luck i'm a business owner he was really cool he's like what's the blue in your hair about and i'm like it was my friend's leftover hair dye i don't have anything like a, something to relate it to so i've like i've there's cool people that come through but there's a lot of shitty people also Today is Tuesday. It's not even nearly the busiest day. It's the first of the month, so that does make it a little bit more busy, um, because there's, I don't understand how, completely how this works, but there's an expiration for either eWIC or food stamps, so you have to use so much money in that account before it expires and you don't have it anymore, so that does make it a bit more busy, but yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Uh, the situation's just kind of funny. My manager's like, yeah, don't worry about it, really. And if you need help, if someone's like that again, just call us, you know, just walk away, you know, get a manager, get one of us, we'll take care of it, which is really nice. I really like my coworkers. The job is grueling. Um, it is work, you know, but it pays, whatever. I'll tolerate it, I guess, for now. Yeah, <laughs> I have a, I had a lot, I had a lot more and a lot worse bad experiences when I was working fast food. Like, oh my god, I've had people cuss me out for no reason. When I was still like a kid, a kid, because I started working at 17. I guess that's not like a little kid, but you know what I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> um... I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, if you have experiences working, funny stories, weird stories of customers, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell notification if you haven't already. And please just be nice or just not an asshole. Please, thank you. Um, bye. <laughs>